What is up, Commanders? Shinchi42 here, reporting for duty. Today, we're going to be talking about this event called Combat Drills. Who doesn't love attacking players? I mean, hell, this is a war game. Who doesn't love war games, right? A lot of guys growing up fantasizes to be in the military, to be in the police. Well, this is the game that allows you to fulfill your fantasies. Play with tanks, send your infantry, send your artillery to attack. This is the game. Now, if you're actually curious on how we're playing this on the computer, we're playing this on blue stacks. As you can see, it's a little bit pixelated on the background, but it's working exactly the way we want it to be. Perfect, amazing graphics in here. Now, playing this on landscape, you have to download BlueStacks. There's a link on the description. I'd love for you guys to check that out. Now, when you do click that link, it helps me as a content creator. I do get a little bit of a kickback because it's an affiliate link. So if you want to help me out, you can click that link, download and play Warpath on your computer. You have to go to the settings once you download it and you need to change it to landscape mode so that you can play landscape. And it's really, really fun. The picture is amazing. And look at that. Once we zoom in, look at the freaking amazing graphics in here. Wow. So as you can see, we're going to be attacking players in here. And um, we have this level 12 in here. All right. Oops, I accidentally dragged it out. Now, but let me explain this to you real quick. This is the first time I am witnessing this combat drills. In this combat drills, you can gain points by farming, meaning you have to send out your convoys in here. So this is my convoy and I need to send him out to farm. Well, let's just find something that is like level four, which we cannot find level four, right? We are in the lower resource node of the map. So if you actually zoom out, you can click resources. Darker the greenest you can see, it's going to be a very rich supply. Now, another thing that you can gain points for the combat drills is the base attack. As you can see here, inflict 100 points, commander base damage. So per 100 base damage, the way I understand this, you get one point. Now, this is when I'm attacking other players' base. Now, this one is if I destroy a T1 troops, it's 10 points. If I destroy T2, it's 30, T3, 80, and so on and so forth. So if there's a higher tier, you gain a higher points just by eliminating these troops. Basic defense as well. So if somebody's attacking you, so now if you annihilate um, T, you know, different types of tiers of troops in here, you are also going to gain some points. But as you can see, you don't gain as much points if you're only defending. You actually gain more points if you're destroying them. So the best way is really if you have a lot of like troops to find and destroy them, this is the best way to gain a lot of points. Now you can gain a lot of points from base attack as well. Now, even though this is giving you plus one, keep in mind that the base has a lot of health. And if you can destroy that entire health of the base, then you're getting a lot of points actually so let's dive down into our base click upgrade click that and you can see the durability it's high that's your health of the base now i still don't understand why this game has this weird sound whenever these um army guys singing and it sounds so weird honestly it's quite annoying at some point but let's go in and attack this city and why i want you guys to take a look at our points right now in the combat drills we have 18.3k so let's go and destroy this level 12 city and what can we get from here in terms of points wise who doesn't love battles who doesn't love zeroing or you know knocking out a city just destroying it annihilating it who doesn't love that now what i like about this game oh it's attacking my my siege in here so we shouldn't have that as their primary target now what i like about this game is that you basically do not lose your investment in troops so let's say they eliminated my troops let's say he managed to defend this very well and eliminated all my troops i can still train my army and it will just have a refresh time as you can see there's a time left in here every second in here i will gain reserves so as you see this is counting down to zero and once it count down to zero, you will see we will earn another reserve 
So and I'll explain to you what it does as well if you are new to the game. Because as you can see, we are now going to be able to recruit. And as I'm recruiting, I am consuming the reserves in there as well. So you can see it went down. Now, I wasn't able to show you the games in here since I clicked that. But we'll take a look. 613 at 54, 50 seconds, I guess. 50 seconds in here. Let's go ahead and attack this with um, all the troops in here. Where is my... Right, it is back out there, right? Alright, my other tank is here getting annihilated. Very good defense from the enemy. Um, Alright, 30 seconds. I'm not gonna train any troops, or I'm not gonna recruit. So there's really no training of troops in here. It's more like recruiting your troops, right? So in the army, there's the reserves. When you're out of, you know, your primary, uh, basically, battalion, you gotta pull out from the reserves. Look at that. We just destroyed that city. And... How much did we gain? We gained about 3, uh, 0.3, right? We had 18.3, now it's 18.6. All right. So let's take a look at reserves, right? Did you see? From 613, now 614. So every five minutes, I am gaining. Now, how can you gain or how can you increase your reserves? How can you rapidly increase that? You have to go into your barracks. Once you go into your barracks, click this eye icon in here. And as you can see, we can increase their reserve troop capacity and as well as the recovery rate. So in this type of game, you're not losing your investment. Let's say you buy in into the you know into the game. Anything that you put in into the city, anything that you put into you basically trying to improve anything in here, you're not losing any value. I'll talk about it in the future more on you know some of the good things about the game. But what I like about this game is that whatever I spend into this game, I don't lose the value. If my troops become zero, like where hypothetically, if my reserves become zero, it will just recover over time. It may take a little bit of a time, maybe a day, to fully recover everything. But I'm back again the next day with full reserves, and I can fight completely with mighty strength by then. Let's go and recruit, and as we recruit, we consume the reserves, right? So you also need to be careful and be strategic as well. So another thing that you can do is when I garrison these, as you can see, they are also healing. So once you garrison your troops, that's the only time they are going to be healing unless you defeat a um, Raven, which these are called Raven. Once you defeat a Raven troop, sometimes they will drop a health bar. So you will see those health bar and once you march your units there, they're going to get healed. But this is one other way for your units to get healed, as you can see, it's being healed right now. Now, what we're going to do, um, uh, see, look at this collection that we have. We just gained some points as well. I'm going to the combat drills. 21k now. We actually got a lot of points just by collecting. So, 21. Oops, we went to the, the wrong one. We just collected another one. 23.4 now. Really this game you get a hell of a lot of points just by doing these collection now the best way really to do these collections since i'm actually outside right now uh, of the territory of our alliance so i'm not really maximizing it but i'm also trying to destroy other cities but the best way to farm which i probably should have this in a different video you see this collect within the alliance territory for 25 percent collection speed that's the best way for you to you know gather all those resources now another thing is that we're gonna start to move over here now if you see these type of rocket launcher or these launchers that i have in here this should be your first target if you see it because this is relatively weak now what we need to do is we need to mobilize what I, what i like about this one is you can change your formation in here and you see how it's kind of squeezing in <laughs> right uh let's move these in here let's put all the tanks up front this has an AOE. This has a range, as you can see, the circle in here. This one has a range as well. You gotta make sure that's within the range before you attack. Select all and start attacking. Blast it off. There we go. Right? Isn't this amazing? Boom. Just pulverizing the enemies in here, guys. Who doesn't want to pulverize the enemy? Oh my god. Damn. Here we go. And um, 
Let's take a look now in our combat drills. We get to claim some rewards. Now the next tier is 72k. That's gonna be a while. Let's take a look at the rankings in here. We're actually far away from the top because I just started this. Um, trying to compete for this. Now what you can get from the um, combat drill. Let's take a look in the rankings and click the rewards. You actually get some decent value. Now here's the thing. The most important thing to me, I think this is going to be very important. I'm not so sure yet what we're going to do with the entry permit. I think it's going to be with the transportation nodes. But another thing that is very important that I've noticed is this ammunition. Because in the ammunition, um, when you're going to be upgrading your units and you go through this and you're going to be running out of you know ammunition in here. So this, look at my ammunition 513. You need the ammunition. So every increments of 10, you need to start consuming your ammunition so that you can move forward to the next set of you know levels um actually i've got a pretty good tanks right now level 60 in here so yeah that's pretty much how it is and let's see if let's see if i can destroy this level 17 guy in here now keep in mind this is um there's no troops in here so i'm not so sure maybe he is inactive he hasn't trained troops yet but we're going to attack that because that's pretty much a freebie in here. So if you see situations like this, this is pretty much a free city to destroy. Because once you see these bars, that's basically your troops garrisoned. If you don't see that, that meaning is that there's no garrisoned within your city. And the firepower is going to be less. So here's what we're going to do. He doesn't have any garrison, so this is going to be an easy one for me to take because he's pretty much not going to be able to destroy my city in here, and I'm going to be able to annihilate his city in, you know, in this in this battle form, basically. This guy is pretty much inactive. Let's see. Um, I hope I don't get any messages. Um, they're good friends of us. Um, two kills, gang. All right. It's just destroying the city, so we can get a lot of points from this one. This is actually really nice. It's going to give us a lot of points because there's really no defense. And remember, when I'm attacking in the combat drill, if I'm attacking a base, where every 100 points inflicted to a commander's base, we're getting a plus one point. So remember, let's level 17. Based on my understanding, as a level 17, he has about a durability of this much amount of durability. That's once tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and a million. All right? So every hundred of that million, I get one point. So this should give me approximately about ten thousand points, I guess. Let's see if I'm if my math is correct. This is a little bit of a destruction. Um, we're actually going to start recruiting to. It's taking a lot of my damages in here. It's taking a lot of my tanks in here, actually. See, the bad part about sometimes when you're reckless, like what I just did, I didn't pay attention, but it was actually attacking my siege units in here. These are my two of my soft units. It should have been at the back end, and I should have let my, you know, the tanks tank it. Actually, I'm going to put this back. This is my strongest unit, so I want to be able to be tanked using this unit, actually. Because that's my tankiest unit in, among all of them. So, let's go ahead and attack in here. And there we go. It's actually pretty, doing pretty good in here. Attacking pretty well. Let's take a look. There's also the Wheel of Fortune in here. This is quite expensive, honestly. 6,000 gold. I'm not really playing that a whole lot. You know, attacking this player in here isn't really going to hurt him. Because, first of all, he doesn't really have any troops at all. The only thing he's getting, you know, is the only thing that he's going to have the hard time is basically healing. But it's a kill event right now, so <laughs> everything on the table right now. Um, but there's really no, like, his reserves are probably full by now, and he just hasn't been training. So I'm not so sure what really happened to him in here. I, maybe I should be nice and send him a message and say, hey, just killing for the event. <laughs> if you're still active my alliance were kind of concerned in here <laughs> about me attacking I'm like it's fine I understand the situation I messaged their leader I'm like 
he's inactive, you know, he hasn't been training any troops at all. Let me just go ahead and destroy it. <laughs> Let me get some points. There we go. There's no troops. See, if there's some troops that was garrison in there, you would actually see it. So, there we go. 25.1k points. So, as you can see in here, what I actually did with this attack, as you can see, is targeting this, this tank. So, this tank is actually this tank. So, if you look into this one, this is my Tiger P Commandant. So, this is a heavy tank. So, it's a, you know, a tank that is going to be able to actually tank the damage. Very high durability. So, what I did as a good strategy in here when you're attacking is to initiate the first attack from your actual tank, you know, tank troops. So, once again, we're going to defeat these in here. This is just a simple strategy. Um, there's going to be, uh, you know, of course, more complex strategies in here. Actually, I did not see this one. We should definitely eliminate this. It has a lot of damage. And attack this one next. All right. And let's go and move in here. So let's go select all move. And as you can see, we're going to use this guy, this Tiger P, to attack this one first. to so initiate the damage and start eliminating just like that. Now let's take a look at my points. Um, not the arms race, but the combat drill. 26.3k now. We're moving up, up the ladder. I'm not sure if we can have a lot of time to really play the game and just, just you know destroy while we're farming and get a lot of points that way too. But we're just gonna do our best. What like I said, what I love about this game, there's really no repercussion in here. I can attack as much as I want, and I'm really not getting slapped in the wrist as i attack in here because you know the only thing that is really yeah, losing in here is the reserves but i'll definitely recover that by the time that i wake up depending on how much i'm willing to to let loose but besides that it's a wonderful game uh, there's more players for me to attack in here i'm probably going to attack this level 13 as well be mindful who you can take on as well because some some of the cities in here are a little bit difficult to defeat as the city upgrades as well in here, right? The attack from the city, the city actually has a firepower also increase, as you can see through this um, chart. Besides that, commanders, keep enjoying the game and um, destroy cities and have fun. Wage the war. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you again next time.